Hello, I am Ron from Super 8 to Video. This is part one of three on importing sound from a Super 8 film copied by the Wolverine Movie Maker. Part one deals with the physical hooking up of the projector to the computer. If your film has a copper strip on the top or bottom, it should have sound on it. These two films on top have sound. See how they have copper strips on them? I said should have sound because sometimes I forgot to turn the sound on the camera as I was filming back in the 1980s. So it is possible you'll have similar issues meaning you will have a copper strip but no sound recorded. Notice this strip here has no copper and it has no capability to have sound. This is a stereo plug. Notice how it has these two black lines on it. This is a mono plug. Notice how it has one black line on it. There are also plugs with three black lines. Just make sure your plug has two lines on it like this plug here or this one. Both ends on this stereo plug should be male. First, I am going to show you how to do a crude method of copying sound. You place a microphone near the speaker as the film is playing. You will hear all the projector sounds, but these projector sounds can be minimized in Video Studio Pro. This microphone is connected to the computer the same way I will show you in a moment. This is not a tutorial on how to reduce the projector sounds, but here is a quick tip on how to reduce the noise. If I remember correctly, I only did this once, and that was six months ago. I think I chose New Blue Hum Remover. Here is how you get to the hum remover. Right click the clip left click audio filter scroll down to new blue hum remover left click it left click options if you want you can fiddle with it then select OK while new blue hum remover is highlighted click add then click OK. Listen to the clip and see if it did not reduce the projector sounds. If not, try other filters like New Blue Cleaner. I do know when I did this six months ago it improved the sound a lot and I am showing you how to do this in Video Studio Ultimate 10. However, I did this in Video Studio 9.5 Ultimate so whatever filter I used I know it was in 9.5. I suspect if you have an older version of Video Studio Pro than 9.5 the filter I used was in older versions also. Back to our hookup. What I am about to show you is how I find my connections. I am not sure if it can hurt the computer or sound card when unplugging and plugging in these sound cables while the computer is on. If you want to be safe, plug them in and out with the computer off and restart it each time to be safe. I repeat, I do not know if it can hurt your computer to do this while it is on. So if you damage your computer or sound card doing what I am about to show you it's your fault not mine. I have done this four or five times and have not had a problem but that does not mean it is safe to do on other computers so if you do it while the computer is on do not blame me if you have problems. I am showing you on Windows 10. Come down here to the speaker symbol at the bottom right of the screen right click this speaker symbol then come up here to recording devices left click it and 
this menu appears. This stereo plug doesn't even need to be plugged into the projector. Watch what happens when I plug the cable in. See the red arrow disappeared. But when I unplug the cable, the red arrow appears again. This input up above is a USB microphone set up as the default device. Watch how it disappears when I unplug it. When I plug it in, it appears again as the default device. Now I am doing the same thing to the sound card on the back of my computer. Just because this cord is green does not mean it goes in the green selection. It actually goes in the blue connection. This is what happens on the screen as I plug and unplug the cable on the back of my computer. These are the common color codes for most sound cards. Plug your stereo plug from the projector into either of these two colors, pink or blue. These other colors are sound going out. I am now plugging in the stereo plug to the projector, then into the computer. It's that easy once you know which plugs to put the cable into. This is Ron of Super 8 to Video signing off on part one of three. Part two shows how to capture the sound using Video Studio Pro.